We love you. I've just made a video on the Chris Watts, you know, audio confession on, you know, a couple of things, the ring and um, making lunch and, you know, a few more things. But now, after I said that and I said, you know, like, he ain't going to live very long because now he's done a tell-all. Well, I just went back on something and and was looking up some information and Chris Watts is now on suicide watch guys he's on suicide watch now remember in his interview when he was asked uh, I can't remember what but he made a statement saying or oh, whatever much time left I have there you go there was his words He's on suicide now. I said, guys, he didn't want to take medication because they asked if he was on medication. He goes, I don't need that stuff, you know, because he's really not depressed or nothing. But how do we know what medication he has taken? I did say that. I did say that in one of my videos. Now, he's on suicide watch. Yeah. He's planning. He's planning to confess. He's found God. And whatever religion he has found, it's okay to kill yourself. Yeah. Because now he has confessed, or somewhat confessed, and tell and told half-truths. But the story he has told is a more disgusting story than what we thought happened in the first place. So guys, he's on um, Suicide Watch. I thought I'd bring you this breaking news, which happened hours ago, actually. Um, they're saying it's a, a bombshell after his tell-all interview with the FBI, the DCI agents. Um, he is being observed. He's uh, being clinically observed. Um, so we'll see. Um, the guards have to do 15 minute checks on him and record. Um, remember guys, he's been on suicide watch before because um, Chris Watts did say in his confession that he was on suicide watch when he was in Colorado. So, um, so this has um, triggered him again um, I think he's going to do it. I don't think this man, I've always said that, he's going to get himself killed one way or the other. And he's not doing it by starvation because he looks pretty healthy to me in that regard. So he's not starving himself. But, um, so guys, that's about it. That's about the uh, breaking news uh, that he is on suicide watch. He's up to something. We don't know what he's done or what he has said. Now, that statement he has said to the agents, I don't know how long I got left. That could have been all it took to put him on suicide watch. That could have all that it took to get him where he is and he still wants the attention doesn't he he still wants the attention so let's stay informed let's stay updated and this is the latest update that is happening in the news today so let's have a discussion and your thoughts about this suicide watch What's going on in his mind? Does he really think he's going to end it all? Or does he want somebody else to end his life for him? He's asking for it, isn't he? He's begging for it. Mm-hmm. While well, making that confession and the, what he said, yeah, he sure is asking for it. Whether it be the truth, the whole truth, or nothing but the truth. Uh, he's asking for it. So let's have your thoughts and discussions on this part of the case and your thoughts about this. 
I myself would not want him to do that or have anyone else do it for him. We'd like him to serve most of his life as punishment. That's, and he's not going to heaven if he thinks that. It is not okay to take somebody else's life. So we all know that even if you don't go to church, you don't take somebody else's life. That's all there is to it. And he took his family's life. He didn't take no stranger's life. So taking anybody's life is not the right thing to do, as we know. So guys, thanks for stopping by.